okay let's continue to the tutorial one part b so we were uh, describing the different uh, menus inside the icm cfd and uh, quick access menus also you can get the uh, uh, same options for example uh, in the file menu you have the option for the open project file you can also do this from the open project from here just go to the uh, uh, your project and double click on it similarly you have the option for the save project the same option is available also in the quick access menus uh, you have the option as uh, close project and uh, then uh, for the geometry you can open save save or the close geometry these three options are available also in this uh, quick access icon uh, same is for the mesh, open mesh, save mesh and the close mesh, open mesh, save mesh and the close mesh <coughs> and for the blocking, open blocking, save blocking and close blocking. So over here, open blocking, save blocking and close blocking <coughs> and similar options also for the mesh open mesh, save mesh and close mesh <coughs> also you can uh, fit the window from here uh, you can zoom in or zoom out with the help of the box menu and similarly also in the model tree we have the option for the geometry mesh, blocking and the parts for the moment, uh, just toggle off the shells from here and apply the shaded part over here. And also uh, hide the edges from the blocking and also enable the points over here. As I, I have told you uh, that you can enable the uh, default selection of the points or they are enabled in the geometry uh, tree you can just go to display and uh, you can click on the show points apply save the project double click on the tutorial one And you can see <coughs> the points are disabled from uh, from the geometry menu. So just again go to the show points. And again pro open the project. So you can see the points are now enabled in the by default in the inside the ICM CFD. Also, you can change the settings of the uh, X, Y, Z axis. You can show the origin marker. You can also display the show hexahedron show tetrahedron, show prisms by default they are disabled in the in the mesh menu uh, they are not enabled over here so just save the project again open the project Uh, these these volume elements are not shown because uh, they will uh, give you the problem of in process, processing the ICM CFD. It will uh, 
uh, occupy all of the memory of the of the computer and you will get uh, difficulty in moving your model or working on the model that's why by default the volumes are disabled and uh, similarly you can undo or redo from the from these quick access menus similar options are available in the edit menu undo redo and you can clear all the uh, undo from the here uh, again uh, let's uh, consider on the on the function tabs we have the function tab of the geometry mesh locking edit mesh and the output <coughs> In the geometry tab, you have the option for the creation of the points, and here you have the uh, different options like uh, screen select. You can uh, get the point from the screen selection. You can get the point from the XYZ menu. You can get the uh, point with the help of the base point and delta. You can get the center point of the three points, and then you have different menus. For the curves, you have the different options. For surfaces, you have the different options to for creating surface, and this is the body menu. Uh, th this is known as the uh, data entry zone. This this hole. So we call this one in the chart as the DZ data entry zone. Okay. Uh, then there comes uh, the modify the facilitator geometry and then the repair geometry tools, geometry transformation tools. Like you have the option for the uh, translate, rotate, mirror, scale, and translate and rotate at the same option at the same time option. Also, you can restore the dominant entities in this menu. You can delete the point, for example, if you delete the point over here, first uh, just hide the surface and the curves. So just delete the point we have just created now. And you can undo this, uh, this command with the help of the, this undo uh, icon or you can go to the uh, edit menu, can you do it. Also you can do, uh, can you apply the redo. A similarly undo option also you can uh, delete the curves so just uh, display the curves in the geometry tree and you can delete the any curve as you like and undo it you can delete the surface undo uh, while you are Selecting the uh, these uh, options, you see that the, we have the uh, geometry toolbar uh, with us. Now you can uh, you can start working uh, with the help of this. For example, if you click on the any surface and you want to move this geometry to uh, locate the other surface, you just click on the uh, this toggle dynamics, or you can press the F9 key, and then you can uh, go to the uh, default working of the mouse on the ICM CFT and you can move your model around the screen and if you want to choose an another surface just again click on the toggle dynamics and you can select another surface similarly uh, this is the option you can select all the surfaces and you can select all the visible surfaces if you click on this option or seven surfaces are really deleted. So just undo it. So you can do you can delete the body from here and you can delete the any entity with the help of the last option. In the mesh menu, in the mesh tab you have the options for defining the global mesh parameters, for defining the part mesh setup. And then the uh, surface mesh setup we are going to define the uh, sizes for the different surfaces like uh, right right now we have the point one size of this surface also you can display the uh, these sizes on the surfaces by just right clicking on the surfaces in the model tree and uh, just click on the data sizes or header sizes and you can see this uh, 
you can see you can get the idea uh, the sizes of this uh, on the surfaces the how they big are they small are, are they also you can show the here side is if there are some okay the dismiss is this, this one uh, you can define the sizes on the curves uh, this is the option necessary for the shell machine operation for example in the global mesh parameters we have the option for the global mesh size shell meshing, volume meshing, prism meshing and the product parameters also you can define the density, density is used to uh, define the mesh in the particular region and the last option is to compute a mesh just you can compute the mesh directly just click on the replace and the mesh will be calculated automatically in the blocking option we have the many options like you want to create a new block you can select the part where the new block should be placed you can split the block, you can create the whole block you can merge the vertex test, you can edit the block you can uh, modify the OGRID, grid you can you can define the product vertices you can uh, define you can change the type of the blocking from map to y block clip also you can work on the edit mesh menu there are many options like you can check the quality you can smooth the mesh elements uh, you can split the prism mesh parameters and you can move the mesh elements, you can redistribute the prism uh, edges uh, with the help of fixed ratio or the fixed initial height. Also you can change the mesh size, mesh type to the another type. For example, you can uh, change the tri to the cord, cord to the tri. You can change the tri to hex mesh or hex tetra mesh. So there are many options uh, we have. Also you can delete the uh, you can delete the nodes, you can delete the surface mesh from here uh, here you can delete the particular nodes, particular lines line elements, you can delete the uh, different type of the shell meshing for example we have the triangles, we have the uh, cords similarly you can delete the uh, volume mesh, you can select the option which volume mesh you want to delete whether you want to delete the tetra mesh, prism mesh, hexagon mesh so you get up these op all options over here if you click on the full volume mesh all the volume will be deleted and you uh, you will observe that the uh, the volume option from the mesh is, uh, is no more there just undo it and you will observe that there is a volume with the tetra hexagon so if you delete this uh, mesh it will be vanished from the from the mesh uh, tree. Okay, just undo. Similarly, you can uh, you can do it. Uh, you can get the wireframe view and uh, solid view of the mesh. Uh, also for the surfaces. Uh, you can get the quality of mesh from here. You can smooth the mesh elements. You can get the quality over here. You can replot. You can set the limits of the uh, histogram. Let's say point from point five to point eight. Or you want to see the bed quality elements, so you can choose the zero to point three. You can change the number of bars. Let's say to forty. Okay, there is no value bit, uh, below the point 0.3 so you can change it to the point 0.9 next save and now you have displayed the 40 bars just uh, click right click on the histogram and done it will be token off from the display of the uh, icing tree of the GUI also you can uh, Uh, you can only save the geometry from uh, this model let's say save geometry save geometry is 
Where's the if I call this one as the version two? So just save this file. Let's say if I want to open the uh, dead file, so just double click on the little one underscore version two dot tin file. I can uh, import the mesh which is for this geometry that is from the tool one. I can import the blocking, just open the blocking for the tool one. And we can save this file again with a new name, let's say project 3 or project 4. Also, you can uh, save the uh, visible geometry only so from here you have to hide the some geometric parts so just go to the file geometry and uh, save visible geometry as so I call this one as the uh, version 3 Just double click on the version 3. <coughs> so only the file we have, uh, only the geometry entries we have sa we saved uh, are, uh, are are available inside this file. Okay. Similarly, you can do. You can also. Uh, you can also. Uh, go to the geometry you can uh, say only some geometry parts is so you can select the uh, which side you want to save only those those parts were saved there so you can just go there and you can double click on the one two three So you can uh, save the mesh file, you can open the mesh file and uh, similarly you can import the mesh directly, you can import the model 